Rakathi Yahawa ba sham yau shai ba sham rikar kudash. Rakathi Yahawa ba sham yau shai ba sham rikar kudash. I would love to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our true spiritual teachers. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity, pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All the praises given to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Amen. This just came in. Famous astrologer, Mystic Meg, dies age 80. Famous astrologer, Mystic Meg, who shot to fame on the National Lottery, has died age 80. Now, this world is one big act, yeah? And to act, you have to be a hypocrite, yes? This means to be a hypocrite, an actor. This whole world that we are living in is nothing but an act. The whole gambling industry the lottery, yeah, the lotto, it's all set up. It's designed in a way for people to win here and there and not to win. And it's all a big game. It's all a big act. So she came famous. She became famous on the lottery, the national lottery. You see, you can look at it on the left-hand side too. You remember that there's nothing wrong in reading the stars on the right-hand side. But there's a left-hand side to it too. Now think about it. For her to predict, I think she, I, know, I can't remember how it, how it had gone, but she must have predicted some winning numbers or, or whoever won. I can't remember. She predicted it which is all a setup. Now, think about it this now. Because she's an astrologer, yeah, they want people to believe in this woman, not to believe in the scriptures, yeah? So put the scriptures aside, right? Follow the stars, read the stars. Believe in these false prophets. It's all hypocrisy, brothers and sisters. All hypocrisy. Anything to try to, 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 to sway from the truth. Yeah? That's what these devils do. Yeah? Everything is a setup. Whose real name is Margaret Lake was also known for her daily horoscope in the Sun newspaper. And that's one of the famous newspapers. Yeah, the Sun. I remember years going back, years going back, at least 30 years ago, 40 years ago, I used to see people running for the newspaper and they flick and they go straight to the back page. Because I think it used to be on the back page or something, the horoscope readings. That's what they wanted to believe in. They don't run to the scriptures. To get the real truth. She died the following short of a she died following a short illness after she was admitted to St. Mary. Oh, that's a spiritual too, St. Mary. Hospital in Paddington, London last month. Her agent Dave Shapland confirm she died early on Thursday morning and it's all spiritual too you see all these things are happening during this time during the Passover yeah during the the the, the feast of unleaven so much spiritual things happening and there's more to come brothers and sisters there is more to come 
This is why we have to get out there. We have to try to keep on checking. I have to keep on checking myself. To examine myself, to see if I'm really in the faith, if I'm really serving the Lord in sincerity. Everything is all spiritual. Yeah? Even what happened to what went on with um, High Priest Arya is passing. And then we find that that is not true, right? And then it's calling out scoffers. You see, people are saying bad things about him. But listen, that's even a wake-up call to even us. That is even a wake-up call to us. Not only to scoffers, there will always be scoffers. But that is even a wake-up call for us. To make sure checking ourselves how we are dealing with one another, how we are treating one another. Yeah? So that's another wake up call, too. The Lord does things in mysterious ways. Do not follow the ways of these devils. Our Heavenly Father is the master of mystery. We can never, ever fathom the Lord's way of thinking. We say that all the time. Our thoughts are not His thoughts. Our ways are not His ways. So we have to continue to check ourselves. Yes? May that be spiritual too. Don't stop halfway. The Lord doesn't do things mystically quarter of the way or half of the way the Lord does things mystically 100% so we can't stop halfway and talk about um, the scoffers and it's within ourselves too within Israel too for checking ourselves make this be a wake up call for all of us we don't just stop to the scoffers it goes to me to check myself you see how everything is coming out in the spirit through the time of the Passover, the time of the unleaven, to purge out what is within us. I've got a whole lot of fuckeries that needs to be taken out of me. Whole lots. I have a whole weight of shit to be taken out of me. And this just reminds us that we have to treat one another to the best of our ability, yes? The Lord is, this is the real mystery. The Lord is a real mystery. We could never, and I said this again, and I told you, I said I'm going to repeat this all the time, and I'll always repeat it in the spirit. Do not put Yahweh Basham Yahshai in a box. I'm going to keep on repeating this. And that applies to every single one of us in this truth. Just because we got to a certain stage, it don't finish there. There's many, there's thousands of stages to go to. When the Lord Yahweh Basham Yashai, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai, shows us things, right? It shows things how for us to reveal the wicked and it shows us to, to check ourselves too. To step back goes, hold on, am I really um, doing the right thing? I'm pointing the finger, but am I, let me point the finger on myself. Am I doing this thing too? Let me check myself. You see, everything is spiritual, brothers. Yeah? Do not, I repeat this, do not put Yahweh Basham Yahshai in a box. If you know that the, door, the Lord is dealing with you, still be careful. Do not put the Lord in a box. Her agent, Dave Chaplin, confirmed she died early on Thursday morning. Shepard Shepland said, Without any question, she was British's most famous astrologer 
by a million, million miles. By a million miles is all the fucking setup, right? These are demons. Nobody came close to Meg in that respect. The reason why, because she was set up to be on top, right? It's all an act. It's all a game. Nobody came close to Meg in the respect. She was followed by millions in the country and also around the world. You see, it's set up this way. They want people to listen to her. They want people to follow her. Yeah? They want people to hold on to something. They want people to believe in her. Whatever she says, it's true. It shows what an impact she made. You see there again? It showed what him. So listen now, this woman dead now. So what, what does that mean now? Oh, everything's going to come to a standstill? Because of witchcraft? It boils down to witchcraft, you know. The scripture says, do not follow the multitude to do evil. The multitude to do evil. And then this is a blessing. I tell you what, this is so much of a blessing, right? A blessing. I just turned on my tap to wash my hands and warm water came out of the tap. Yeah, that is a blessing. Warm water came out of my tap to wash my hands. Isaiah 47, verse 9. But these things, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine en en enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. You see what I'm saying? And this is why we have to always check ourselves. Because remember, our minds, our hearts, our, our, is deceitfully wicked. We are wicked. Just because you're in this truth and you're calling up a name of the Lord, that don't say you're not wicked. Because we have wicked thoughts in our mind. We keep on battling demons. We, we, we're going through the fight. We're going through the fight. You see, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is working perfection in us. In their perfection for the multitude of their sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments, thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. You see that? None seeth me. Thine wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore, and listen to this, you see that proud spirit? You see that proud spirit? Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it, it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off. Right? Because he reaches that stage, you know. And it's and who's the who's doing that? Is the is the Lord because he's in control of all spirits. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Okay? And this way, you know, we that the most powerful scripture, right? One of is that he that endureth to the end 
Just because we're going along, going along, going along, you don't know when the Lord is ready to start to do things. Right? You don't know when the Lord is going to increase and you don't know when, when the Lord is going to decrease. You don't know. He that endureth to the end. Right? Because we are men. We are man. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude. You see, because these, these scriptures, you know, if you want to call it, we know it's twofold, right? But the way the Lord is so powerful, it goes threefold, fivefold, tenfold, a hundredfold. Never ever put the Lord in a box. The Lord is so powerful, He could show you things spiritually, right? And then the Lord could show you, it turned the opposite way. Whatever you've been thinking, it came to pass, but it turned the opposite way. Listen to me, the Lord is, i tell you, the Lord is a fearful power. The Lord is a fearful power not to mess with. You Listen to me, you cannot get comfortable in this truth. Never ever feel that you're so comfortable. You have to remember, I said something a while ago, I went and turned the tap on and washed my hands in warm water. It reminded me, it's a blessing to serve the Lord. Whatever the Lord gives, the Lord can take away. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the, the multitude of sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, thou be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators. Where is that? 13. Save them again. Thou art wearied, wearied, wearied in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly, monthly prognosticators, Stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon you. This fucking woman dead. This witch is dead. Now, what are people going to do when she's dead now? They have not to rely on now. Yeah? So what they're going to do, they're going to set up another one now that is another star stargazer and they want people to start to believe in her. This is why the scriptures never fail. Right? This book has tried to be destroyed, being burned a million and one times, and it still cannot be destroyed. It's of the spirit. Yeah? Behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves. From the power of the flame, they shall not be as be a coal to the warm, nor fire to sit bef before it. You see, behold, they shall be stubble. The fire shall burn them. The fire. Are we talking about the nuclear missiles which is going to come? World War Three is coming. The RFID chip is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. The Lord Yahweh, Lord Yahusha is coming. You remember this: the Lord doesn't work in one fold, two fold, three fold. Only we read the scriptures in his two fold and sometimes three. Listen, the Lord is so mystic; he works in a hundred and a thousand fold. We can never fathom how the Lord works.
Behold, I read this again. Behold, they that sh they shall be as stubble. Right? They, the, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves. They can't. We ourselves can't even deliver ourselves, much less. This is why we need Yahweh Shai. Oh, that's spiritual too. The other night, oh man, I just remember this in the spirit. Now, out of, I don't know whatever, I was thinking about Prince. I don't know why I dreamt about Prince the other night. And the song he sang, When Doves Cry. I don't know why I thought about that. Prince, when doves cry. Because right now, we are in mourning. Yeah? We are in mourning. We are crying for Yahweh to come back. That dove. That purity. We are waiting for Yahweh to come to help us. Yeah? We are crying. This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves. We need Yahweh Shai. From the power of the flame, we need Yahweh Shai. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth they shall wander every one to his quarter none shall save thee well that is that here yeah? so right this witchcraft is everything is spiritual right this is the time and every time every year it that, that's why i keep on saying it's a it's a blessing we say that we actually went to the Passover. Then we say to be a partaker in the, the, the pass in the Passover. Then we say for completing that, that time of the Passover. And then and then we're gonna have to say because we're now we're in the time of leaven. And if we get through it, we brakathiahaubashamashai. That he's helped us through the, the, the time of and that is about, about the purging. And purging is a is, is a is a purging is a is a is a yearly thing. Purging. Right? It's a spiritual, spiritual time that we are we, we, we are in. Alright? And it's so spiritual how this woman died today, Thursday. Who are you going to go to now? Yeah. Who are you going to serve now? Yeah. There's a scripture that says that, yeah, they, they, they mock them. They say, okay, we have a competition. I'm trying to just remembering this in the spirit, right? It's not, I can't remember who it is. They were trying to mock. There was like a competition between certain prophets who could say whatever. Yeah. Always on the tip of my tongue. And nothing happened. They said, call upon your gods. Let's see if you could um, do this and that. Yeah. We need Yahweh Shai, yeah? We need, I need Yahweh Shai. We all need Yahweh Shai, yeah? I'm a filthy, filthy rag. Dirty, stinking, nasty rag. I need Yahweh Shai. I need Yahweh Shai. I can speak for myself. I know we all need it. We are going through the fight. We're going through the pain. But I could speak for myself, right? I need Yahweh Shai. And we know we all need Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so we have to continue. Everything is spiritual. Everything. Right? Peace and blessings with much love. With much love. Shalom.